Here. Alderman Day. Here. Alderman Craig. Here. Yes. He is excused. John Howard. Here. Uh, Joe Mercado. Here. And Muhammad Nauman. Okay, and then myself and Director of Administration. Okay. Pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Move all the minutes. Or a citizen's comment period. Are there any citizens that want to make any comments? Yep. Thank you. Uh, I'm the secretary for the Franklin Senior Citizens Project. And uh, it's come to light. To What's your, sorry, your name and your address? Mark Hunt. I'm sorry. That's okay. 2950. Okay. Um, it's come to our attention that uh, our budget was cut to 2024, and I just wanted to briefly say that we just celebrated our 50th anniversary as an our city. Um, I was good enough to do why I can make it we're grateful for. Uh, I'm not sure how long the $10,000 budget for the organization has been in existence, but I hasten to guess that it was before COVID. Or the organization was dissolved by the former president. And in the, in the light of the fact that in the next, this year, the price of eating out has gone up 6% according to consumer prices, and another 4% probably next year, our food costs are going to be increased from $12 a meal to already had that discussion with Root River Center. So, we're pleased to show our funds. Look at the handout. You'll see that uh, that seven dollar slice that ran across the page in green shows that we had anticipated the city's portion would be almost eleven thousand. But had we been asked as we were the year before by the former, um, you know, Miss Steno, Peggy Steno. She sat down with us in advance. We went through everything because it was a brand new adventure for us. We constitute our organization. Hence, that $10,000 plus a $5,500 amount of money that was set aside, trust for the organization was yeah. Anyways, right now, we're projecting by end of the year, we'll be spending about $9,300 that we'll be passing to the city. Will be a balance of maybe around seven hundred dollars at the end, but with the new projections of almost eleven thousand, or I'm sorry, ten thousand one hundred dollars, you can see that cutting our budget by twenty percent is certainly not our best interest. And I don't think so. I will just ask you to reconsider for the ten thousand dollars. Good luck. I'm with Mr. Brigansky. I'm John Brigansky. I live at 11221 West Drake Lane, Franklin, Wisconsin. Uh, I am the president of the Franklin Seniors. And ditto to everything he just says. He's better at speaking than I am. His background as an architect, and I'm a tradesman. So uh, I asked him to do the majority of the speaking. But like you said, our budget was cut without being told, or no one even called and asked us what we wanted. Compared to the previous, we were pretty much updated on what was going on. So I'm just asking that our budget be our reinstated, and we've got a few extra bucks in your back pocket. We'll take that according to your number and numbers. <laughs> and the folks coming to visit us, but that's okay. And um, I'm just asking you to do some consideration there. Thank you much. Okay, thank you. How do you want to? Sure. <laughs> so uh, I'm being recognized by the chair to just to give a, a bit of a rebut on that. Uh, you know, and the finance director will back me up on this. The, when every year we just simply looked at your expenditures. 
than what they were. And with the uh, continuation, that's what we projected the fund to be. And now with the increase in the projections, that's been reconsidered, and that's what we're, we're going to reestablish that and, and put that money back in. I recommend that goes back there. Okay, thank you. Okay, that way it's not going to interrupt your your operation. It's going to cover your costs and the increase that from a river. So someone, all that I know is that they look at the last two months, and we projected our last couple of months we're up to about ninety ninety three hundred dollars we put in there. And that didn't even cover some of our other expenses that were occurring, uh, like entertainment. The people love the entertainment we bring in. That went up considerably, and we're sort of eating all that juggling that money around and other items. So actually, the numbers that were they're they're not actually the, the real numbers that were you're projecting your like, next year's budget. Correct. So we made that adjustment. Just as another point of, of reference, that green column where it shows city funding and the OF money, that was, a, that was based on a conversation we had with Peggy last year, where she told us that not only would food be something that could be considered as a cost that could be worked against $1,000, but other administrative expense, entertainment supplies, federal and state, and other miscellaneous things. I have a news, I have a letter after our meeting that we put together. Where she delineated all the things that could be considered to draw down to $10,000. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, next year's projections, we're not really going to cover food. So uh, next year, assuming that we do need to talk to some of the next chance to probably. And make it a point, mark it down after July 1st, we'll talk to Dr. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. when we, we, were, we weren't aware of you know, what was going on budget-wise. Um, uh, I'm sure it just got, ours just got crossed, but we're working on it. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Very good. Thank you. Thanks, John. Right. Okay, approval of the minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Thank you, you too. Okay, September 26th. Dana motion to approve. Move to approve. Second. Aye. 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 Opposed? Gary? Okay, September 28th. So moved. Okay. Any other? Second. Second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Gary? October 2nd. Those. Okay, is there a second? Second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. October 4th. So moved. Second. Second. Okay, yeah. all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. And we got. Do you want to still move the recommended changes up? If you wouldn't mind, please. Okay. Okay. Move the rec. Everybody in no agreement on that. Okay. <clears throat> Which one? This is the new one. That I wanted to add it to that, which I can talk about. <coughs> okay. The only addition I, I put the packet of papers. The first page is the recommended changes. Um, the only difference is the addition of the two thousand dollars added back in for the senior center activities. Otherwise, everything else is the same from what you were given in your um, packet. The second. Paper clipped item is the general fund revenues. You can just throw that in your budget along with the general fund expenditures. Um, the only things that were updated was some minor changes that Ed had brought up at the um, last meeting with the uh, 
uh, charts. Where is that senior citizen? It's right here, like a second from the oh. bottom. So I assume you just want to start from the top. That's interesting. So I, yes, I, um, yes, <clears throat> to offset it. All right. So does anybody have any questions? I, I can briefly just okay. run through it. Um, so the general fund um, is listed there. I was able to add some additional revenues back in. Um, one thing that was mentioned by Alderman Holtfer at the last meeting was the Southwest Park municipal rental that was not included. Um, I did find that lease agreement and the total, and so I added that in, is that will be a new revenue coming in in 2024. That was the 6520. Um, and then as far as the revenues go, I'm, I know that myself and Kelly worked through these, and I can say that I was extremely conservative um, with the revenue projections based on um, you know, prior years and didn't take into consideration some of the upcoming projects in 2024. Um, due to uh, 180 housing unit subdivision coming on and some other um, development, I increased the building permits, the plumbing permits. Um, again, uh, most of those permits and licenses I, I ran considerably conservative initially, so um, increased those to offset um, some of the <clears throat> expenses. All of the expenses that are listed were ones that each department had had simply asked for it to be brought back up to what their department request was. Um, so being able to do that was something that we were able to do with the offset of the revenues and then also the reduction in special legal services. Um, that placeholder of 180,000 was put in the budget initially based on, um, you know, some some things that we had going on. I guess I can say. And that being said, now that uh, we have come to a conclusion um, on on that, we are able to decrease the special legal services in 2024 by 160,000. I did recommend that we keep 20,000 dollars in the special legal services account for um, labor attorney or any other legal services that we may need other than um, Jesse. Uh, I, I found even when speaking with Alderman Holper that um, we tend to be more reactionary when it comes to legal services as things happen versus um, proactive and seeing as we use the labor attorney in the last few years it would be beneficial to have at least $20,000 in there. So I kept that in there, but then offset by um, deducting the 160,000. So altogether, um, adding the department's expenditures back in, um, decreasing the legal services, and then increasing some of those revenues, um, we were able to bring the general fund back into balance. Do you have any negotiations? Yes. Um, so that's it for general fund uh, debt service. Again, I think I stated previously that the initial mayor's recommended budget did not include the principal and interest payments on the two um, borrowings that we are taking out um, at the end of this year. That being said, uh, we had to include those principal and interest payments in for 24. Um, that did put about um, four hundred ish thousand dollars on the fund balance, uh, use of fund balance for debt service. So I decided to off some of that, offset some of that with um, impact fees. So I transferred in two hundred thirty four thousand of transportation, fire, and police impact fees back into the debt service fund based on previous borrowings that we had. Um, to offset some of that, however, we are still going to have to use $179,000 in fund balance um, and then look at possible increases in um, debt levy next year or potentially next year as well. 
um, that does lead into some, some borrowing issues as far as <clears throat> using all the debt levy that we have for 2024 already. So more talk in the future on that. Um, capital improvement. I was approached by um, engineering regarding um, needing additional funding for the South 116th Street Trail. Um, in doing that, they were requesting an additional $75,000, $75,434, which would be able to be offset by 60% park impact fees. So I have that in there. Um, also, additionally, um, the mayor's recommended budget had the expense for the South 100 Street Lovers or South Highway 100 Lovers Lane 60th Street to St. Martin's that land purchase, but it didn't have the park impact fees offsetting into that fund. So I increased that and put that in there as well. Um, so you'll see um, the increase for park impact fees um, on the revenue side there, and then right below that you'll see the deduction in the park impact fee development fund. Um, so again, taking those impact fees from transportation, police, and fire to debt service, um, taking the 400, or I'm sorry, $46,000 for the capital improvement plan for 116th Street Trail, and then also the land purchase, um, those will be coming over into the capital improvement fund and the debt service fund. Uh, the Tourism Commission, um, the Economic Development Director came to my office and asked for an increase in tourism events, um, conferences, and schools, mileage, and advertising. This was coming from recommended recommendations from the Tourism Commission. Um, we were able to increase interest on investments to offset that. So they will still be actually... Um, <clears throat> running a, a fund balance increase of $17,000. So there wasn't an, a fiscal impact to the Tourism Commission. Um, and then lastly, the sewer fund. Um, the initial mayor's recommended budget did not have the 8% increase in user fees as well as the MMSD charges. So the pass-through is in here, the 8% increase on the metered sales um, for all of those are in here as incoming revenues. And then the 8% MMSD increase expenditure is in there for 500,000. Um, and then I was able to um, strengthen my uh, spreadsheets for depreciation for water and sewer, which impacted the sewer budget. So I was able to decrease the depreciation by 110,000 for the sewer fund. So altogether, those are the recommended changes that I was able to note, as well as what I took from this committee through those four meetings. And I wasn't sure if anybody else had any other changes that we could um, discuss. Uh, yeah. Just to be clear for the record, even though you raised those revenue projections, they still skew for the conservative side not overly aggressive I just wanted to no there's yeah they're that. still pretty conservative okay any other questions or comments I had a again I'm so new at this but I had taken what was from previous um, minutes and it was basically just um, yeah, a motion to recommend this instead of doing you. You have that motion that you copied? Yep. Yeah. No, no, I mean, just so they know what the oh, recommend, it's rec right recommended. On the, it's on right on the sheet. sheet. Wow. Recommend to Common Council the final list of changes along with any added changes made during the October 24th, 2023 committee meeting to the 2024 ma mayor's recommended budget per the attached schedule. So moved. Second. 
Any discussion, question? If none, I'll, um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, the motion, <coughs> motion carries. Okay. Well done. Got a hot date or something. Right. <laughs> no. Thank you. Okay, update on uh, tax collection options, payment on, or that issue. Yeah. Item four. Item four. So, um, I was unaware that debt issuance should come to finance committee first. So I will take you know a second to apologize for that, and any future borrowings will definitely come to finance committee first. However, since we've done this backwards, Common Council has approved um, the sale of the 2023 B note for capital projects, and then they've also approved the 2023 A bonds for the water systems project and the housing and machinery and equipment, which is also the DPW cold storage building. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys the opportunity to look at the pre-sale reports that I included. Um, the debt sale is going to be out for bid on November 7th. Um, and then I just stated that, you know, past practice has always been to borrow $2 million biannually. Um, we're not doing a borrowing per capital in 2024, but we do have a TID 9 borrowing that we will be doing roughly around March or April, which will be about $1.5 million for infrastructure for TID 9. Um, other than that, we don't have any borrowings coming up in 2024. So again, this is just information unless there was any motion to be taken, but just so you guys have the, the pre-sale information, mostly those since the older men, older women already have it. Where's TID 9 again? Is that by my house on South 34th Street? What's that? TID 9? TID 9. Where's that? It's 76 in Austin. Oh, okay. Yeah, 76 in The Carmack. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And like all four corners. Didn't the common council wonder where our Yep. Yeah. Okay, exactly. well, we'll take that under advisement. Does any, do you have any questions on it? I do. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah, they, Hitting you now, and it probably should be uh, November 19th, 23. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fire station number four, design and build. Thought we have not heard any progress on that whatsoever, and that we were still trying to determine whether or not that's the appropriate thing to do. <coughs> and for, for bonding for those costs, I guess. Yes, so that was included in the initial project plan, um, but after talking with Ellers, they were able to tell me that we can substitute any sort of project that we want in place of that. Same with um, parks. If, in the initial project plan, if there's a park that's no longer going to be um, done or a trail that's no longer down the pipeline, we can substitute that for another project going forward. But that's what was included in the capital improvement plan. Yeah. It's for necessary spending. Is right. To make sure that we're not borrowing. No, right. That was, again, that was just what was included in the initial project. Plan. Thank you. Yep. There was, a, I will just state, there was another um, project plan for the um, a sewer project for $1.6 but I was able to talk with engineering, and they told me that that was no longer really going to to come, for, come to fruition, so I was able to cut that prior to to the borrowing happening, but that was just kind of past the ability. So we're planning on borrowing another what? Um, between 1.4 and 1.5 March for tip nine. Um, no, because TID 9 has. Okay. Anything else? 
else on this? No. All right. And uh, number five, update on tax payment collection option. So I apologize if this is something that I got um, needed approval, needs approval, um, or if this can just be for information only, but I just wanted to bring this to the committee. Um, GCS is the program that we use for billing of property tax payments. So we bill and collect our taxes through that uh, program. The program has now switched to LandNav. Um, we did the conversion in 2023, so this coming tax year will be the first year that we use LandNav. Um, however, for the last six years, we've been using U.S. Bank ePay for property tax collection. Um, that was done through the website, and what customers were able to do was click a link right on their on the portal and pay their property taxes from that link. Now, um, LandNav will no longer support that ability. Um, they're requesting all municipalities to go to BPS, which is their interface. Um, we could still use U.S. Bank if we wanted. However, it was not going to be as smooth for the residents. Um, it would not only would it take more time and more um, work for our IT department to create um, a whole nother access basically from the land nav portal to US Bank, they won't be able to just click a link anymore and go right to their payment. It will then bring them to US Bank. They will have to know their tax key number, so they'd have to either look it up prior or have to have a property tax bill in front of them in order to make their payments. Um, so finding that Greenfield and Waukesha were the two municipalities that have also converted to VPS. Um, this is also something that Milwaukee County has done and they're not forcing, but it's highly recommended that you switch to the VPS interface. Um, that way all payment co um, collections of payments can just be run right from land now. So, We've started the process of doing that, signing the agreements to move to Catalyst or VPS or the same thing, um, and get away from U.S. Bank ePay. We didn't have a contract or anything with U.S. Bank um, that would have hindered us from making this switch. Um, the fiscal impact, we're honestly not sure what that is yet. We don't have the exact number of... Um, or what it's gonna cost a customer. Right now, US Bank charges 50 cents to the customer for an ACH payment. With VPS, they're able to now pay by credit card or debit card, where previously it was only with an ACH payment. Um, but I would assume that it's probably going to be some sort of convenience fee to use a credit and debit card, and then also an ACH payment. However, for the city, this conversion is free. There is no charge to the city for using VPS, where prior we were being charged $100 a month from U.S. to, to have that ability for our customers to pay their property taxes online. So it, it, I'm not sure if, if you'd call it a wash, but now the city will no longer be charged. It seems like the customer may have more of a charge because I, I doubt it will be 50 cents for the customer. It'll probably be more. Um, I would say it's I'm not sure if it's going to be a percentage or if it's going to be a flat fee but more to come on that we've we've reached out to DPS to see exactly what the charges are to the customer. I guess for a credit card typical is yeah two to three. I played, paid plenty of tuition and <laughs> debit card and mistake. All right. And it just seems that, that that seems to be the way that most municipalities and technology is going in general yeah. making more payments online less in person. Already You've already gone to VPS, is that right? We are, yep. That's. It just seemed like the, the better option. I would move to receive and place on file. Second. All the favor, Sam? All right. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, the um, updated authorization for individual information. So again, I'm not sure if this is something that needed to come to this committee, but I yes, see, there you go. So um, <laughs> Charles Schwab 
Um, ICM has been our investment manager since 2008. Um, as Paul left and the new finance director came on, then it went from that finance director now to myself. Um, it just needs a, a chair president signature to release Paul from the accounts and put myself on as an authorized signer and an authorized individual on our accounts. Okay, so finance. Yeah, so Okay, so explain that a little more. So this would have to go, because when I asked them, well, go ahead. This is a recommending, recommending committee. committee. So, this, so, so you would recommend this to council? No, you said the mayor, the administrative decision. Right. Okay. Well, we recommend it. And they put over there. <laughs> but, so that's, that's the function of this committee, really, just recommendations. Mm -hmm. For example, Monthly financial statements review because the older man was sell and I'll get with what I don't all requesting. We'll get it extensively, but uh, I think the council members uh, depend on the recommendation of the finance. So that's our role. Recommend. Right, but this is an administrative function. And, and when I talked Executive with branch. ICM, they had stated that the mayor couldn't sign the my forms, that it had to come from the committee president. Or, so that's, that's the only reason why I brought it to this. Well, we're not changing what is. We're, the, the, yes, we are. Well, yeah. no, we're, we're, we're not on, changing on the end. actual investment manager. We're just adding myself to right. the account. So, I mean, the part that went for recommendation to the council was selection of the right. yeah. first. Right. might be a time where the committee would ask how are we doing with this company are we pleased with the results and right. the service and Definitely have financials for August and September at the next meeting. Okay. Actual state. Yes. <clears throat> no, I will have. I will have it better than the first time. I don't want that. Okay. Anything else? Did you have anything you wanted to explain that Ms. John's? Or? No, just I was just giving that to you. I can. I, I just wanted to say. I know it's not on the agenda, but I'll briefly just tell you that I looked at that. I have a spreadsheet. I need to update. It has been updated since 21, but that should give us a, a better idea. So I'll I'll note to have that at the next. Meeting. I just wanted to thank you and Kelly for getting back to me with the information. Right. Yeah, the no problem. Form. Okay. If there's no other items on the uh, agenda or nothing else. Anybody wants to discuss? We'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Meeting is adjourned.